love you too but today is a very special day because i get to try and do my new favorite thing in the entire world i am when i say this i mean it in 100 percent certainty i am addicted to watching baking shows and i'm currently watching the greatest british baking show i don't think i said the, the grit i don't know i can't remember what it's called which is odd because i've watched like 90 hours of it but anyways today i decided to bake something i'm baking something for my boyfriend oh. andrew He's just the best, honestly. Like, he does so much for me. But last night, he came home and got me these beautiful flowers. A new pal. I don't know if you guys know this, but I am addicted to stuffed animals, but that's a whole other video. And he also got me the powdered sugar donuts, which are my favorite, and I'm also addicted to those. But I just wanted to give back. I wanted to do something for him, but hopefully it won't end in a disaster because today I am baking a cake. And not just any cake, I have done my Pinterest scrolling, I have searched all of the crazy cake recipe things. It's gonna be just a normal cake, but I'm gonna layer it and each layer is gonna be food colored, so it's gonna be like different colors in the layers. And then between the layers, it's gonna have like frosting and fruit. His favorite fruits are blueberries and raspberries, I think. But I'm gonna add those in the layers. And then I'm gonna make fondant to go on top. On these baking shows, most of all of the bakers on the shows are like freaking artists. Everything they bake is just beautiful. Like, it's like they're just painting on cake. It's insane. Now for the cake and the frosting and all of that type of stuff, I won't really need a recipe for because I'm just gonna go with vanilla bake mix and add some food coloring in it. And that shouldn't be hard at all. But for the fondant and the toppings, I'm going to need to search a recipe. So I'm going on my computer and I'm going to look up some fondant recipes to see what I need at the store. Also, we are totally starting from scratch. I have no baking pans except for a cupcake pan. I have, I don't think I have eggs. I don't have flour. I basically need everything at the store. Betty Crocker is gonna be shaking. Okay, so I just found a fondant recipe. I'm gonna write down the recipe and what I need and the ingredients, and then we are going to head to the store. Okay, so it is literally hours later. I feel like I was gone for an entire day. It took me so long to get everything at the store and then the line was super long and the lady at the checkout was taking, taking her time. But yeah, we're here $86 later. The first thing I'm gonna do is just start by baking the cake because in order to finish it, it has to cool for a while. So we're gonna do that first. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do, I ultimately wanted there to be like four different colors of the layers, but I don't know how I'm going to achieve that. So instead of making four cakes, I'm just gonna make two separate cakes, but in each one, I'm going to start by adding in the food coloring. So this first one I'm going to make like pink or red. It'll probably turn out pink though because the food coloring isn't that strong. And then pour in half of it and then the other half that's still in the bowl, I'm going to add in yellow so it makes it orange and then pour it in on top. I'm guessing the layers are going to kind of like warp together a little bit, but it might look cool, so. Okay, so this is with the red food coloring. It definitely ends up looking more pink than red, but that will still look cool, so we're gonna go with it. While I'm making this video, I thought I would talk more about my boyfriend, Andrew, since he doesn't like talking about himself. He talks a lot in his sleep. Last night, he asked me how school went. I mean, honestly, like, I'm kind of glad he talks in his sleep because if he ever cheated on me, I would immediately know because he would just, like, say something in his sleep. Also, side note, I have no idea how to crack an egg and... Uh, me and Andrew met at our work. We both worked at H&M and we both really bonded over our self-hatred and just brought us together, you know? I'm just kidding. I. 
he's just a nice guy and he looks so scary and intimidating he's like six five freaking sexy and i've always had a huge crush on him even like the first day i met him secrets out exposed i'm actually not sure what else to say about him I think if he were to choose me over the gym, he would choose the gym, actually. The first time we kissed was on top of a Harmon's parking lot in downtown Salt Lake. We were there at like three in the morning. We got stuck up there till eight in the morning. So the next thing I'm going to make is what is going to cover the cake and I'm going to make fondant. If you don't know what that is, it's just basically like a doughy, sugary, like, it's basically like sugar dough that goes over the cake and makes it look pretty. So we're gonna start doing that and I don't want to explain every step so I will catch you when, when I'm done making it. cake pans in the oven for like five minutes and then I look to check on them and they are huge and I'm so worried that they're going to like spill over the pans and like they look like they might like spill over the pans and ooze out and all over my oven and I'm scared. Holy! It's literally bursting at the seat. Oh my. Calm down, sweetie. Okay, so I just pulled them out of the oven and she's pretty thick, but I think they like might be good. I am not sure um, the fondant is struggling a lot. Okay guys, so it's been like an hour or 30 minutes later and I've put both the fondant and the cakes into the fridge and the freezer to cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take the cakes out of the freezer and try and cut them into four separate layers and then cut the fruit and place whipped cream 
around the fruit in each layer, if that makes sense. And then hopefully it'll look like the separate colors and then the, like the fruit in the middle and stuff. And then I'll cover the whole thing with fondant. Okay, so the fondant failed, it was not working, and all of the layers I put on the cake, I used whipped cream, which I meant to use like Cool Whip, so like frosting that's like, so it would stick more. So all the layers have melted except for the fruit, and it just looks so bad, but at this point, this is just what I have, and I, hopefully it's at least edible. I'm gonna stick it in the freezer and ignore it until he gets home from work. Okay, you can look now. What do you think? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't look too hard. You see, <laughs> the layers seem a little bit uneven. And you see the top? It's a little patchy. That's the look. That's the style I was going for. The deconstructed cake. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. there's, there's stuff in there. Oh. Okay. I have not seen this, so I'm curry. actually. Oh no. What's on the inside? Something crazy. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> we will see. Cutting the perfect slice. <laughs> oh. It looks good, actually. It looks gorgeous. Come on. Yay! That actually it looks actually really good. looks way cool. It looks really good, and you put strawberries in it. Yeah, each layer in between is whipped cream with sliced strawberries and blueberries. Well, now I gotta see how it tastes. Okay. I'm gonna be generous. Oh no. Two. <laughs> Out of ten? Are you kidding? But it but, looks so cute. But kind the of. Inside, <laughs> the inside. Out of ten, I'll give like a like a nine. Okay, why is this cake me? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so pretty on your fork. It is good. That's it. I'm trying to rate it. <laughs> Gotta have another bite. Oh no, it's crumbling. Uh. <laughs> that tastes really good. That's good. It's literally that. just white cake from like yeah. Pillsbury, but it looks so pretty though. Overall, a good cake. Would recommend. Yay. That's good. So overall, what's the rate out of 10? Gotta factor in everything. Oh my. You left the leaves on the strawberries. Okay, that was and for I, decoration. I only like things on my cake that I can eat. Second of all, I'm nervous. Out of 10, I would give it a, the actual cake part and the way the cake looks, I'd give it like a nine. The only thing for me is that I like frosting and I'm not a big fan of whipped cream. 
Okay, that's what I thought you were gonna say because I was gonna make frosting, but I just didn't want the cake to be too sugary. So I went with whipped cream, but at the end I was like, It was like nah. a vegan cake or something, right? A vegan cake? The whipped cream comes from like, <laughs> Everything on this cake is plant-based. <laughs> I'm impressed. Yay. Do I get a handshake? Don't leave me hanging. Well done. Well, that's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've made it this long, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the video. And thanks for watching.